What is up, guys? We back with another video, man. And today we got the Mayono PD400X. Now, I'm super, super stoked about taking a look at this microphone, man, because number one, it's a USB and XLR microphone. And number two, it has a Mayono Link desktop app that I'm really, really stoked about taking a look at, man. So, shouts out to Mayono for sending this over. I really do appreciate it. Another thing, too, I want to see if this mic going to replace old trusty right here. You know what I mean? So, with that, guys, I'm going to show you where you can pick this up from. We'll go through every single thing that comes inside of the box. Uh, we'll go through a little bit of testing. We'll also take a look at that desktop app, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right? Let's get to it. All right, guys. So if you're looking for this one, you can find it right here on Amazon. I will throw a link up in the description, but the price is going to run you about $149.99, and they do have a $30 off coupon. All right? And again, this is the Mayono Dynamic Microphone XLR slash USB PD400X. All right? Let's go ahead and scroll through, man. I'm ready to get to it. A little bit of information going on right here about the company. Uh, right here it says the top pick for uh, content creators. So uh, customized broadcast level dynamic capsule. Uh, we got a built-in dynamic mic capsule. Uh, it has the ability to capture deep lows, delicate highs, and crisp mid-tones. Every sound nuance needed for professional level results. All right. We running with that. Cordial uh, polar pattern uh, focuses on the sound from the front of the mic top and minimizes uh, ambient noises. We got our frequency response by diagram. So the uh, 400X delivers a bass curve, neither too heavy nor too thin. Includes higher sensitivity in the upper mids for an increased quality of sound. That's pretty good there. Multiple mics and minimum presets. So you got four EQ presets and onboard buttons. So this button down here at the bottom of the mic uh, lets you cycle through or you can cycle through in real time right here on the actual app. But if you switch in the EQ in the USB mode, to reduce ambient noises and improve your sound clarity so your stream is free from key, key, key clicks I'm sorry, and room noise. Also, it's synchronized in real time with the software. So if you press it while you're recording, it's going to uh, synchronize everything uh, right in real time. So I think that's a good look as well. Uh, it says offer firmware updates, so you can always check back with the app well, or with the uh, software just to see if they got any updates. Uh, and don't worry about uh, XLR or USB. It has them both, obviously. Windows, Mac. PS4 and then you got a uh, XLR you can connect it to a mixer or an audio interface uh, and this is what it looks like right here for podcasting recording and streaming all right let's get into the unboxing all right so as far as unboxing is concerned man the presentation on this is amazing it is over the top at least to me I feel uh, I like the way they put this together I love the color the design of the box all that stuff is great on this side, you got a little bit of information about the uh, microphone. On this side, gives you a little bit of a description, a little bit more in detail uh, description of some of the features uh, that come along with this microphone right here. Um, on the back, it just gives you another quick picture of what you can expect from this microphone as far as uh, it being an all-metal body, uh, the desktop stand, and things like that. Once you open it up, you got your user manual, and the user manual is pretty thick. Uh, that's because it does have a desktop app that you have to download uh, from Aono. Um, so make sure you take a look at that if you need to. Uh, next, you're going to have a base plate. Now, this base plate, it's, it's a small base plate, but it is very, very heavy, uh, really, really heavy. So I'm pretty sure, you know, using the base plate, you'll be good to go. Uh, but for me, I'm going to use a boom arm, so, you know, that's not going to be for me. Uh, after that, you have a USB-C cable. Now, this USB-C cable has the adapter on it, and I think that's a real good look uh, that they threw that adapter on there. So, you know, if you're somebody who don't want to run it USB-C, you just want to run it USB the standard way. Um, you can do that as well, but I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, impressed that they put that in there. Uh, next, you're going to have an XLR cable, just a standard black XLR cable. Um, and just keep in mind, if you already have an XLR cable, then you may not need to use this one, but I'm just glad that they actually uh, put that in the box as well. Uh, next, you're going to have your pop filter. Now, this pop filter is very, very huge. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if it really kind of shows you on camera right here, but this thing is huge. Uh, and I'll give you guys a, a, a little look at that. Uh, once we get into the testing portion of this video now last thing is the actual mic and this mic is heavy too it is very well built now let me tell you this has to be probably the best built microphone that i have actually touched um and that's across the board with every single microphone that i've had this one right here is built the best the weight is on point uh everything about this microphone is on point and it kind of resembles another microphone i can't think of the name of it right now but it kind of resembles another one but for the most part this microphone looks amazing all right and still looking around the microphone uh, on the front you got your volume knob you got your uh, tap to mute uh, and that volume knob is uh it has three modes on it man which i think is cool on the bottom you got your usb c you got your xlr you got your headphone jack and then you have your eq modes which i think is going to be another good look all right so with that guys let's go ahead and do a little bit of testing 
Now, before we even get into the full on audio test, man, and me showing you guys this software, man, I just got to give you guys my first initial impressions, like face to face with you guys, man. And I am in love with this microphone. I think this microphone is the best microphone build quality and sound wise that I have had on this channel. Now, you guys know I love my K688, man, but this right here, this, this is, is this. Just, just wait, just wait, just wait till I show you this software. This is it right here, man. But from the build quality alone, uh, from being able to control the microphone, having three different settings inside of this one knob is just over the top. Even though you can control it all in the software, but just being able to do it right here on the mic is fire. And uh, under the bottom, being able to control the EQ settings from the bottom of the mic is fire, man. But you can do all of that in the software, which is what I'm going to show you guys. Now, one thing I want to let you guys know is that when you're using this microphone, if you want to take advantage of uh, the actual software, you need to be plugged in USB, all right? So just keep that in mind. If you're going to go USB, you can control the software and you can make all the adjustments and changes in the software and you don't have to actually touch the mic. But if you go XLR, just kind of remember the difference, right? If you go XLR, XLR is more for hardware. So XLR means that I have to plug this into my uh, audio interface and then I am in control of everything. So like right now, being that I'm going to be using it with the software, I can control the headphone volume and all of that stuff. But if I was to go XLR, then I have to control all that stuff from my actual uh, audio interface. All right? So software, hardware, USB is software, XLR, hardware. All right. So real quick, let's go ahead and dive into this app uh, right here. So, um, when you first download it, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have like this little M down here, Mayono link. All right. You'll open it up and, uh, you'll be greeted with the microphone. Now, if you don't have the mic plugged in, you will not see, uh, the PD 400 X. It'll just be like a blank screen and it'll be kind of waiting on you to plug in your mic because apparently this, uh, this actual software works with a lot of the other mics as well. So, but because we have it plugged in, it's popping up right here. And this is the only mic that's plugged in. All right. You'll just click that. And now you're into your settings then everything that you can change right here on the mic you're you're not you now can do it right here so right here you got standard and advanced one thing to know is that in standard mode this is the things you can change but if you switch it over to advanced from my understanding when you switch it over to advanced uh all the settings that that you have set in standard doesn't apply everything applies from that advanced section okay so vice versa so if i'm in advanced then none of the set none of the things that i have set in standard is going to be uh, active everything that's in advanced will be active and if I switch it back to standard, then none of the things in advance will be active. Everything in standard will be uh, active. Okay. Um, so right here, first things first, you got the standard mode, right? You got your mute, which you can actually press that there, uh, but you can do it from here. You got your headphone volume. I got it set to 53. That's another difference between like XLR and this microphone, even though you can control the headphone volume right here, but with XLR, I can plug my headphones into my actual audio interface and control it from here. Uh, with this microphone, you have to plug your headphones into the microphone in order to control it or control it from the software. All right. So you got your monitor mix from your microphone to your actual computer. Uh, and then right here, you got deep, natural, bright and legacy. OK, so right now we've been in deep this whole time. We've been uh, starting this portion of the video. Right. We've been in deep. So this gives you a good representation of what it sounds like in the deep mode. All right. So we're going to move over to natural right now. So now we're in natural and I want you guys to know that I'm not doing anything to this audio. You're getting it straight up, straight from the software, straight from the mic, straight to you. Nothing happening in post. This is it right here. I can hear it in the headphones. So I already know what it sounds like. And in the headphones, it sounds great. So this is what natural sounds like. All right. Uh, let's move over to bright. So now we're in bright. And to me, bright seems like it uh, lifts up the highs a little bit. Um, so to me, that sounds great. I like how bright sound. I, I like how deep. I like all of them, honestly, man. I, I can't even lie. Um, and they have a legacy setting. Now, I don't know what this legacy setting is, um, but I'm assuming that the legacy setting is a mixture of the deep, natural and bright. To me, that's what I feel like it could be. But this legacy setting could be a setting from uh, like a previous mic that they had uh, and they wanted to bring that type of sound quality over to this one. So that could be that. But I'm going to press legacy. And now this is what it sounds like in legacy and legacy to me sounds like it's a mixture of deep, natural and bright. To me, that's what it sounds like. Um, so we'll go back down to deep right now. So this is where we started at. We started in deep. Uh, but for right now, what I'm going to do is go back to natural because I want to kind of put it like in the middle. All right. Let's see what natural sounds like for the rest of the video. OK, so now we're in natural and we're just going to stay right here. All right. So moving down, you have your distance and this is really fire right here. So you got near, mid and far. All right. And right now I'm sitting really close to the microphone. I'm about four from the pop filter because keep in mind, the mic is not super, super uh, big, but this pop filter is. But I'm about four inches from this pop filter right now so if i start to slide back right so if i get about right here now i'm about i'm about 12 to 14 inches or something like that away 
if I press mid, watch this, if I press mid, now you can hear me all the way back here and it still sounds as though, as if I'm like right up on a microphone because even in the headphones, I can hear it and it sounds really, really good, man. Um, so right now, if I go back even further from the mid section, so now I'm all the way back further and my desk drawer want to open up on me like that. I, it's kind of spooky. Um, but now I'm in uh, mid, but if I slide back even further and I hit far, now it's picking me up all the way from back here. But it does sound like it has a little bit of a kind of like background echo in my ear. I, I, I won't know if that really sounds like that until post, but that's what it sounds like to me. Um, but since I'm all the way back here, I'm going to go back to near. All right, so we're going to go back to mid. And this is what mid sounds like while I'm all the way back here. And I'm going to go to near and then I'm going to slide back in. All right, so... Now I'm in near and it sounds like I'm really quiet, but as I get back closer and closer and closer to the microphone, now you should be able to hear me perfectly. All right. This is what that sounds like near, mid and far. Awesome feature. So now let's move over to advanced. Now keep in mind, again, when we move over to advanced, all of the features and things that we just, all the settings we just did in standard should actually go away and we should be now in advanced mode. So nothing we did in standard besides probably leaving it, just we're just going to leave it. It should sound different. Now, I don't know if that I don't know that for a fact that they don't overlap, but you will hear the difference soon as I switch over to advanced. All right. So now I'm in advanced. All right. And I'm and because I'm in advanced to me, it, it sounds even more bright. It sounds even more louder. OK, so now we're in advanced settings. My headphone volume is 53. I'm still in the middle on the um, monitor mix. All right. But now down here, I'm going I'm to I'm turn the gain down just a little bit. All right. So we're going to take the gain down to about. 73 okay we was just at 100 turn it down to about 73 um and right here this is the eq now keep in mind this eq you got these buttons in the back right and these are the same buttons right here that you have on the back down here at the bottom i meant okay so right now we're in flat as you can see now i'm gonna press this one here and now we're in high pass filter and i'm gonna turn the gain down just a little bit more so we're in high pass filter okay um and you got three two more settings okay so now this is what high pass filter sounds like i'm still near to the microphone all right uh, next you have presence boost presence boost sound good it sounds like it kind of brought the, the the lows up a little bit with the highs to kind of even them out but it kind of boosted me up a little bit i can hear it in the headphones hopefully it's coming across like that in the video uh, and then next we have um high pass filter and presence boost so we have them all together so all of the settings all in one and that sounds even amazing to me in my headphones as well and hopefully it's coming across to you but for right now we're going to switch it back down to flat Okay, so now we're down to flat. We have the gain set to 67. We started at 100 on the gain. We went down to 75. Now we at 67. I feel like 67 is pretty good for me. I probably could go up to 70, but 67 in the headphones sound pretty good to me. All right. So what's next is a uh, limiter and compressor. All right. So we'll press limiter. And uh, once you press limiter, the three little buttons will highlight right here. And now you can press those. And here you can uh, you can make different adjustments to the limiter and so forth and so on. Okay. Um, we're going to leave the limiter on and we're going to press compressor right now. So once you do that with compressor, you can now uh, press these three buttons and you can adjust uh, your compression, how much you want, well, how much compression you want and so forth and so on. All right. Um, so let me go ahead and turn off compressor. Well, let's turn off uh, limiter so you can hear it with just the compressor first. So this is what it sounds like with just the compressor standard based on the settings that the microphone already had. Um, let's turn off compressor and turn on limiter by itself. And this is what it sounds like with the limiter, with the settings that the microphone already had. Okay. Um, so we're going to turn all that stuff off and we're going to switch it back to standard mode right now. So now we're in standard mode and we're in natural. I'm going to switch it back to deep and that's how we go in the video. Okay. So now we're in the deep mode. All right. So real quick, before we get out of here, this was just a quick audio test, um, and a, and a quick, you know, um, overview of the software so you guys can see. Um, but I just want to let you guys know for the price of this mic, $30 off, whatever that is, um, for the build quality for this software and for everything that this microphone can do. This is a this is a win. Like this by far is probably the best microphone that I have had reach this office to this day right now. And this microphone has really sold me on wanting to get their whole little podcast and sweet man. Like I don't know, but this microphone sounds good, man. And I can't I can't stress to you guys enough about the build quality on this thing. The build quality is immaculate. I don't I mean, there's a lot of other mics that cost way more than this that you can say, oh, it's not better than this mic. It's not better than that mic. I, look, I don't care about none of that. All I want to, all I want you to know is that for me personally, this is this is it right here. And this will probably be the microphone that's going to be right here on my desk for a long, long time. I'll probably be switching back and forth between my K688 and this one. But for right now um, and for the next 
I don't know, 30, 40 videos or something, man, this is what you're probably going to see right here. Um, I will tell you guys this. I am going to switch it to XLR. That's the way I want to rock it. I do love this software. I love every single thing about this software combination right here. I think it's fire, but I'm just more of an XLR type of person because I like to plug my headphones into my uh, audio interface. I like to control my headphones and have access to all my knobs. And I'm not really into uh, pressing a lot of different buttons and settings on like the software. I'm, I'm more of a hardware type of person. So I will be using this microphone, but it will be in XLR mode. Um, and the reason why I'm not showing you guys XLR mode or trying to give you guys an audio test or something like that, because I feel like it's going to sound about the same. Um, but I wanted you guys to actually see this software, because if you're somebody who don't want to run a actual audio interface with some monitors and stuff like that, and you just want to run your PC uh, with just some standard computer speakers and you just want to have a nice mic with some with some awesome software, then this mic right here is for you in that aspect. Um, I also think it's for anybody who want to run XLR, studio monitors and all that stuff. I think it works for that too as well. But I really think the highlight of this microphone is the sound, how you can get that deep, natural and bright tone, uh, the advanced settings and this software with this microphone and being able to do it on the microphone. Like I can change all the EQ settings on the bottom of the microphone without even using the software that's just fire i can't i can't explain it guys i don't want this video to be too long so i'm gonna quit ranting and raving right now but this has been a quick audio test this has been a quick overview this has been a a, a whole in-depth i guess video on this mayono microphone because i enjoy this all right now if you found this video to be helpful in some way don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's been your man jay and i catch you guys in the next video peace